I was wondering if you could give me some um, uh, technical information on some of the molecular processes involved with gene editing. Hi, I'm Chris Saha. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Biomedical Engineering and the Department of Medical History and Bioethics. I'm also a faculty member here at the Wisconsin Institute of Discovery, which brings together engineers, biologists, ethicists, among computational people, a really fun place to work. These are molds that allow us to grow really small micro tissues from human stem cells. My lab is interested in editing these micro tissues such that we can understand the function of particular genes. Editing the genome is to change the sequence of letters in the DNA. And so uh, there's been a lot of technologies to insert letters, to take out letters, but to do this in a really precise way, we'd like to edit genes such that uh, we can understand the function of them. Also uh, go and look for um, various types of disorders that physicians and clinicians have seen. Editing the genome has been harder, so there's been uh, a number of technologies that have gone in and used basically genetic scissors to cut up the, the DNA. And once you introduce a cut into the genome, um, there are some repair processes, so these could cause errors and mutations, or uh, you can take advantage of those repair processes to have the genome incorporate a foreign piece of DNA that has the letters that you want to be inserted. In human cells, this type of work has been done probably for the last 15 to 20 years, and they utilize a set of proteins that are called um, nucleases. So nucleases are um, proteins that cut DNA, usually both strands of DNA. A new type of nuclease, the Cas9 nuclease, has uh, really accelerated the, the pace of editing throughout biology and engineering. When I started my graduate work and my postdoctoral work, there was a company dedicated to making one cut in one place in the genome. Essentially finding a needle in a haystack is one stretch of letters among three billion letters. In the years since then, the specificity is defined by an RNA that's easy to synthesize and um, easy to what people call multiplex. Uh, which is go after multiple parts of the genome.